well, you're back, but you were technically already back. But in this multiverse that we live in, you know, the timelines are different. You're like a Marvel character. Apparently you can travel through timelines. Uh, mm -hmm. How how does it feel to be a Marvel superhero? <laughs> uh, do we have flying cars yet in the multiverse? Please tell me about all the great things we have in the future. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. I don't think we can really talk too much about the future, but if the I, future is discussed in any sort of parallel universe, I bet it that it's nostalgic and amazing and incredible and that fans are just going to be even more ecstatic. If, if we, were we could talk about it, <laughs> if you <laughs> travel to the future somehow, which obviously you can't do, right? No, but I can tell you in this universe of me being back, um, I'm... All I can say, and I, I'll I'll announce this from the rooftops over and over again, I am just so blessed and thankful to be back to the challenge, to be back in, in the elimination arena, to see TJ, to be in the dark, to, you know, to have everybody that's ever supported me and have my back been, been calling for me for as long as they have. Like, I wouldn't have this chance to be back if it wasn't for everybody, you know, constantly being like, we miss Carmen Maria, please bring her back. So I am thankful a million times over all the way around, and I am so happy to be in my home which is the challenge and which is that elimination arena so it couldn't couldn't be ha any happier yeah just to see you and mr tj right next to each other oh my god just nostalgia bomb for everyone i'm sure just okay. all of the feels all of the feels so you know as the internet does the internet likes to talk likes to chat when there's no official word on things there was a lot of insider theories about why we haven't seen you in a while you know you go on a streak as long as you do and you don't show up so from your perspective from your view uh, were you just not getting calls or was this a uh preemptive break that you decided to do yourself that you needed some time away i'll say that absence makes the heart grow fonder and in my time away um I have become so overwhelmed. I have been able to remove myself from the immersion that my brain was in when I was on the challenge. There was no escape of the challenge. And I've been able to see it from a different point of view now. And so with me being able to come back in the state of mind that I'm in now, everything that I do, it's in, it's in good fun. It's in jest. It's in fun. It's knowing that I could go in and have the entire house against me, even my own boyfriend, Polly, you know, if it's part of his game to send me into elimination and I'm going to have fun. Everything from this point on forward is just about, yes, there's a lot of money on the line. Yes. I damn well want to increase my elimination record and get at least minimum new year's resolution goal. One more challenge win before I decide to move on to the next chapter of my life. Um, but at the same time, not at the cost of my character. And I'm just going to have, I'm just going to be more me and literally just understand that the game is the game. The challenge is what it is and have fun because nobody, the, the amount of people that get to do and experience what I've been blessed to is like few and far between. So I'm just thankful, honestly, to be back. And that time away has given me a time to I feel the universe works in in the ways that it does, and I've I've learned, I've grown, I've um, come back mentally a hundred percent different, and at least the fans and everybody else has has had some time to cool down, take a step back, and be like, you know what, we asked for the vacation alliance, and now that we've gotten it, we were wrong, and we miss you, <laughs> so please come back. So I think all around, I think lots of lessons were learned. <laughs> wow. This is, this is what we the expect. Facts, the facts that are just being <laughs> thrown at my face right now. <laughs> I love it. So you were getting calls, confirm or deny. I plead, I think that when it comes to challenge and production, that they work the way they work and no one will ever know. So if you have any specific questions on casting, you should production, not the cast. That's Noted. Not we will we will delete the next question. That was an immediate follow-up. <laughs> we'll move on. Let's move on to the current universe we are in, which is uh, Battle for a New Champion. I want to discuss a little bit about the purple jacket, orange shirt of it all. 
That um, was not. <laughs> I know. That was a million percent not planned, which is why when you see the uh, the the reaction video of me and Darrell, and when I ever saw Laurel go in and say purple jacket, I lost my shit. I was like, no, she didn't. She didn't. Well, that's kind of what I was going to ask you with like, with their uh, sort of like conversation between all of the people that were coming back being like, we're going to go for Michelle. Was it just kind of like the yeah. way she responded to your question, a combination? I, you, I can throw a million reasons every time, like of, of why I'd pick Michelle just because fuck it. Um, but it literally all boils down to my one plan was to cause chaos. And she was unfortunately the first one in line. And all I wanted to do was because I've done challenges where like everybody says the same name over and over and over again because they're besties. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, let's let's fuck up the besties. Right. Like if you have to call one, some there's a totem pole somewhere. Right. So let's see your cards really was what I was trying to do, because doesn't have, that's not what the viewers want to see. Isn't that what I want to see? Like something, you know what I mean? Not babysitter's best friends club. Right. So I couldn't agree more. That's all I wanted. I wanted somebody standing up there. And afterwards, Norris came up to me. She goes, I was ready to say somebody else's name. I don't care. And I was like, great. Then I wouldn't have picked you. Like, I just wanted to see somebody else, somebody say somebody else's name that, you know, wasn't the winners or the two that everybody already said. Mm -hmm. So if if Michelle would have said a name, would you have kept going down the list to see? Yeah. Or, yeah. I would do. I a thousand percent wanted to see what they were going to say. Because that, that way you're kind of exposing their game, which is part of it as well, right? Hilarious. Which is, uh, <laughs> on the face of it, great for content Amazing. for us, you know? Because I don't, I don't obviously you've listened to our show. We're the number one. No big deal. It's obviously what it is. But we're not one of those, oh, well, you know, the great thing about this is blah, blah, blah. We like to have fun like you do. So it's just great content for the two of us. And if you ever, if, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race, I am like one of the biggest fans ever. That is, that is the show that I will watch. And the worst thing ever was when Mama Ru sits there and goes, okay, so one of you, why should you win and not these other queens standing beside you? And it's like, you have to sit there and, and plead your case. Mm -hmm. You can't be like, everybody should win because we're all best friends and I just love everybody. And it's like, fuck that. It's the challenge, bitches. <laughs> absolutely they they should they can kindly ask us for that clip of what you just said the challenge <laughs> bitches and that better be part of the trailer for you know any future timelines in the marvel universe uh, you know okay. yeah yeah um i i wanted to ask one of i think one of the things you're you're most known for is uh cousin saying cousin a lot have you is seen the show the bear and did they pay you to be able to license that from you? Because I assume you own the copyright. I've never seen the show The Bear, and I actually have no idea what you're talking about. I don't actually oh. watch I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even kidding you, except for RuPaul's Drag Race. Ask me about the queens, we'll talk. Okay. So there's a show on Hulu called The Bear, and there's a guy who just is just constantly, like every other word is cousin, cousin. I was watching it. I was like, is Scar on the show? Is Scar on the show? Maybe it's in New England. Maybe they were raised in New England or even Jersey. But like growing up, I all of my, even my aunts, it's auntie, auntie, uncle, uncle. And when there's multiple aunties or uncles in a room, I forget. I'm like, oh, I have to be specific. Auntie. And like, they don't answer. I'm like, auntie Cheryl. Like, <laughs> like, what? Because it's always auntie, uncle, cousin. I don't know. You call your mom, mom and dad, right? Nobody makes fun of you for that. So that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, I, I, the, the other thing that I feel like you're a, a goat at, if you will, is having great conversations on the buses back from things. We don't see that anymore on the show. Um, what makes a good bus ride home and a good bus argument? Oh, we're talking about the Anissa fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just a lot of fun on the bus and we don't get those anymore. So they I, won't show us bus scenes anymore. They won't show anymore. us bus scenes, you I know? Think it's unfair. I was, I, I feel like that's where the, the meat of it is. I think I don't even, I mean, we're going, there's so many layers to that. I think because of like, um, we're usually on ice because it, immediately the bus scenes are usually when, when shit just went down and then we're all thrown on the bus and it's like, we're sitting there and like, we, we just either the arguments ensue from what happened earlier or, you know, the, the challenge or the elimination just happened and everybody's got to talk about it. And so that's like real and authentic the real authentic in the heat of the moment as opposed to if we have to we hold it all in now and we're like wait we can't wait you know we gotta wait to talk about it you know mm -hmm. i don't know why that's another production you're asking you need to get like one of the producers on 
for these questions, my friends, because I don't have the behind the scenes. I'm just in it, in the scene. <laughs> you think they're going to let us talk to those people? They've <laughs> listened to our show. They don't want to talk to us. Come on. Oh, man. Hold some accountability. They ain't, they ain't coming. They don't want the smoke of the number one. That's basically what we're saying. Oh. Just like nobody wants the smoke of you in the elimination. Last question. At what point when you got down to the arena or whatever we're calling it this year, and they unveil that it's a puzzle, did you go, ah, son of a bitch? You know, I am notoriously, I've said this before, I'm either when it comes to a puzzle, Rain Man, as you know, I can list multiple times of like when I clutch pivotal moments of winning the puzzle against um, Johnny and uh, his his cousin. <laughs> Johnny and his cousin on bloodlines to to make it through um when I had that puzzle on um the redemption challenge on dirty 30 to get back in the house when I had that puzzle on um war of the worlds one when I had to like solve it on the plane to skip the next challenge and go straight to the final like I have won puzzles ridiculously weird puzzles in clutch moments um and then I've also absolutely brain dead on puzzles such as when Polly rain manned the first one on uh the first was it war of the worlds one where we all came barreling down the hill and we had to solve a puzzle and he was the first one done and i was probably the last one like before theo chose me that mm. one um there was you know the one that got me into the elimination to begin with against johnny bananas and uh his cousin when it was the tangram you know what i mean so i'm either i either get it and it's bup, 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 done or blank out uh you get the short circuit does not compute you know what i mean so in this case i was like okay big giant heavy blocks got it right and then they're like puzzle you gotta be able to put the picture together i'm like fine right and then they're like by the way there's also a picture on the bottom of it so there's two sides of pictures oh. and one of them doesn't and i was like all of a sudden, that's when my, my brain started being like, what? So it's like a bogey puzzle. And basically, on one side, it's shades of gray. And then on the other side, it's shades of gray. And then when you're flipping and you're in it, and these blocks are coming right up to my, my chesticles. And it's like, you can't really, it's hard to see a full, like, it's nice when I guess when you're watching it, and you get to look down and see the giant um, mm -hmm. puzzle coming Together, like as a viewer from the drone perspective but when you're like in the trenches trying to figure out what lines go where and then you're turning these ginormous boxes or maybe it's not that box maybe it's on the other side of the box so I, I started putting it together and thinking I had it so when I realized that I couldn't figure out the pictures then I was just trying to be like maybe I'll block her from moving her pieces like I didn't know what to do I was Big brain. I, and I look Big brain move and right there Hers the same as mine. Like I, I was like, I beat myself in that elimination. I let myself down. You could have put me up against a, a can of paint and it, I would have lost. I would have timed out because I was not getting that. So that's on me. Um, so I am sorry um, to everybody who has been, who is expecting Carmarie to come in and crush it. But I will say, I did win just by being back in the arena. The fans did win because I will keep coming back. And the show did win because I caused chaos one way or another. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if I'm in there, it ain't going to be like, I'm besties with everybody. I love everybody. It's going to be like, let's fuck it up, guys. What can we do? A woman you know? of the challenge people. We <laughs> love you for it. Thank you Thank so you. much for, for all of this. This has been an absolute blast. I'm glad you guys missed your first interview so we could have this one. Hey. Oh, hopefully there'll be plenty more to come. Yes, we, we shall do it at another point in time. Thank you and so another... much. Good to see you back. <laughs> Good to see you smiling and laughing. That's the girl we love to see. Yeah, she's finally back. Let's go. Tell... <laughs> Power Marie is here and it's, it's going to be a fun ride now.